In this video, we're going to take a quick look at what's new in Gatling version 3.11. This is the version of Gatling that was released in May 2024. Firstly, this release features a brand new Gatling standalone bundle. In the past, Gatling used to provide a standalone bundle that wasn't tied to any of the major build tools that Gatling supports, such as Maven and Gradle. The purpose of that bundle was to help people get started with Gatling quickly, even if they didn't have knowledge of a build tool like Maven. What is this? Now, whilst this bundle was useful for getting users up and running quickly, it's had some pretty significant limitations as well. By not using a build tool, Gatling projects can't be easily integrated with an IDE such as IntelliJ or Visual Studio Code. In order for Gatling to work in this standalone fashion, there are also many more dependencies and integrations that got included in the standalone bundle, which ultimately have to be maintained and updated. Why are you so high maintenance? The fact is, Almost every user that ends up using Gatling for any sort of performance testing work ends up having to migrate to using it with a build tool like Maven or Gradle at some point anyway. So the solution that the Gatling team have come up with for this is to offer a brand new standalone bundle that uses the Maven wrapper instead. The Maven wrapper basically allows you to use the Maven build tool and all of its commands directly in your project without the end user having to download and install Maven on their own machine themselves. Now, the new bundle is still a completely standalone version of Gatling that doesn't require an internet connection to run. Oh, that's good. However, there are a few significant changes to the file structure and the commands. Let's take a look at it now. So I'm gonna head over to the Gatling scripting intro page. So from this page, I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. And then down here where we can see install Gatling, I'm just gonna hit the download Gatling button. Then I'm gonna save this file to my desktop. So I've now opened this project in Visual Studio Code. If we take a look at the file structure on the left, we can see that it, it represents a typical Maven file structure. So i.e. we have the source test Java folder here. We also have this resources folder with some configuration files in here as well. So the package we've downloaded does ship with an example script here, and that's this computer database simulation file. So this is just a real script that you can look through just to get some idea of the Gatling syntax. And you can also run this script because it's actually built against a real live application. The Gatling computer database is a very simple web application available on the internet that Gatling maintained themselves. Its sole purpose is to let users practice Gatling scripting on. So back in the IDE, let's go ahead and run this script. So to do that, I can just open up a new terminal. And then to run Gatling, I can do dot forward slash mvnw space Gatling colon test. Now, if you're running on Windows, you can type mvnw dot cmd Gatling colon test. So a similar command, but it's just slightly different on Windows. So after I hit enter here, we can see that Maven's gone ahead and done its thing. It's pulled in all of the necessary dependencies in order to run this project. And then because we just have this one computer database simulation, it's just gonna go ahead and run that Gatling test. So it's running an actual stress test against that real computer database simulation, and we can watch it in real time here. Next up, the Gatling 3.11 release includes new versions of the Gatling Maven plugin, and also the Gatling Gradle plugin. This Maven bundle now requires a minimum version of Maven 3.6.3, while the Gradle version requires a minimum of Gradle 7.0. Of course, there's no actual requirement to install Maven or Gradle on your machine, since you can use them with the Maven and Gradle wrappers, as we talked about earlier in this video. Good to know. The easiest way to get started with either of these plugins is to head over to the documentation page as shown here, and download either the Maven or Gradle demo project. The major change with these bundles is that they now run in interactive mode on your local machine by default. Wow, what does that mean? This just means that if you have multiple Gatling scripts in your project, when you run the mvnw Gatling colon test command, the terminal will prompt you for which script you want to run. It's important to note that when running Gatling on a CI like Jenkins or GitHub Actions, the non-interactive mode is automatically activated. Basically, this just means the CI run will fail if no Gatling simulation is explicitly specified. 
Whoopsie daisy! Now there's a few other changes to these bundles that I won't go into detail in here, but you can read about them on the release notes page, which as always, I'll link to in the description down below. Another important thing that I need to call out in the Gatling 3.11 release is that the support for a number of depreciated methods has now been dropped completely. If you're anything like me and have been ignoring all those depreciation warnings for a while in your scripts, you have been warned. You might need to go in and fix those when you upgrade to Gatling 3.11. Probably the most significant depreciation to be aware of is the change to the Gatling expression language syntax. In older versions of Gatling, the expression syntax would be written as dollar, curly brackets, and then your Gatling expression goes inside there. That's now changed to be hash, then the curly brackets, then the expression. Up until Gatling version 3.11, both of these had still been supported but now Gatling is switching to only allowing the hash version of the syntax. So if we take a look here at the script that ships with the demo project, we can see this search criterion and computer URL and page I are all using hash for the Gatling expression language syntax. In the past, this hash would have been a dollar symbol instead, and that would have still worked. But from now on, it has to be a hash. This is probably going to be a pretty significant breaking change for a lot of users' scripts. So do look out for this. If you start to see a bunch of unexpected errors after running your Gatling scripts when you update to 3.11, Houston, we have a problem. It will likely be related to this. There are other methods that have had their support dropped as well. But again, I'm not going to go into detail here. You can read about them in the release notes to see if any of them affect you. Finally, although this isn't strictly part of the Gatling 3.11 release, one huge announcement that came out from Gatling at the same time is the long-awaited release of the Gatling JavaScript version. If you've been wishing that you could write Gatling tests using JavaScript, this is going to be hugely interesting for you. Oh yeah, I need some of that. I'm going to be doing a full breakdown and walkthrough of the new JavaScript version of Gatling in an upcoming video. So those are the major updates that have come out with Gatling 3.11. As always, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.